What's going on YouTube world? It's your girl Kimberly and we're going to do a quick video about how to prep your lug nuts and Valsim covers before you paint them. Prep work is critical people, critical. And the reason why I tell you that is because if you have a hot rod, if you're fixing up your car, if you're just tweaking some things, if you're modifying an older vehicle, you want to make sure your prep work is plus because that will save you a lot of time and it will assist in your whatever you're prepping to look amazing. So make sure you guys take your time, do your prep work. If you have the time to do it like two or three days before you get ready to paint it, then I just totally suggest that because it's less stress and it will turn out much better than if you just try to rush right through it. So prep work also requires for you to be organized. We're painting the lug nuts and the valve sim covers um, from a truck. And so what we're going to do is we're going to prep by sanding, cleaning rather, sanding, priming, and then painting. Alrighty. So being organized, step one. So what we got here is we have our high heat primer. We have our paint. We have our gloss, two different kinds. You can choose whichever you want. doesn't matter. This is Plasti Dip Glossifier. Uh, this is normally used when people are dipping their tires, sorry, dipping their wheels. This is the best to use because it has a UV protection on it also. So you can use the Plasti Dip or you can use your standard Rust-Oleum uh, gloss to put on there. Also, make sure you have one or two different grades of sandpaper. Okay. And also rubbing alcohol. Step one. So prepping your lug nuts and valve stem covers to be painted. Step one. This is sanded down lug nuts. These have been sanded. That's it. Cleaned, once cleaned with the rubbing alcohol and then sanded down. So this is how they look. Okay. After you've cleaned them first, sanded them down. Then you want to take the rubbing alcohol again and wipe them off. So these have been wiped off with rubbing alcohol. Then you want to prime them. So this is how it looks when it's primed. This is a lug nut. Still wet, so we're going to let that one dry. But that's what it looks like after it's been primed. One coat of primer will be good enough on this because, again, they're just lug nuts. But you can put two, but make sure that, you know... You're in a well-ventilated area. You prime them. You let them, give them plenty of time to dry because you don't want that drip look. You don't want a heavy look. You want them to look nice and clean. So make sure you do that. Valsim covers. These have been sanded down and only primed. So that's what they look like. I'm actually painting over some ones that I picked up at the auto parts store. And I want to change the color. So that's why... You see a different color in there on top of that, or under rather, that primer. It's because I'm painting over the color that they were. Obviously, most Valsim covers are black. So you can either go to your local auto parts store and see if they have the color that you want to meet, either match your cabs or either match your vehicle. Buy them already painted. That's great. That's faster. It's at the store done. If not, you can paint the ones that you had on your vehicle. You just sand them down if they are of a metal material and then you uh, clean them with the rubbing alcohol and then you prime them and then you paint them whatever color you want. So let's go through this again. Be prepared. These are some of the products that I'm using to prep and paint my Valsim covers and my, um, yeah, I know I'm doing a video, <laughs> my Valsim covers and my lug nuts okay so i'm already i have everything i need right here make it convenient for you trust me two grades of sandpapers rubbing alcohol primer gloss paint have it already ready stage one ugly dirty nasty oily greasy brake fluid brake uh, dust, everything you think is probably on this lug nut. It looks horrible. So that's what this is. Stage one. That's how they look when they, when you take them off the vehicle. Stage two, they've been cleaned with rubbing alcohol and sanded down. Even sanded the back, of course. These have been 
sanded, and cleaned again with rubbing alcohol. This has been primed with the primer. And that's it, you guys. Then you paint it. After this primer dries, then it can get painted. But I'm gonna let this dry really, really good as I'm gonna let the other ones dry really good. But that's what that primer looks like on there. All right, you guys, I love you. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks for watching. Again, if you have an older car, you're modifying a car, or you just, you know, you got a new car, but you, you got your cabs out, they look nice, and you want your lug nuts and your valve systems to match, prep work is mandatory. It is necessary, and it will save you so much emotional distress if it doesn't look right then you're going to be pissed trust me so do it right i love you guys keep watching keep subscribing and uh yeah let's get back to work <laughs>